Fight Counter Punch Boxing The Count. The one and only. A lot of imitators out there, but whatever. Imitation, the greatest form of flattery, right? That's how I see it. But uh, look, we got a lot to talk about. Marcos Maidana coming back. Mayweather, Pacquiao, Thurman, Lomachenko, uh, Spence, Garcia, Anthony, Joshua. Just And, and look, I'm going to run through it real quick, real quick. But apparently, <laughs> Mr. Marcos Maidana making a comeback. Now, look, I like my look. I like Chino. I like Marcos Maidana, but uh, damn, I you know, I don't know. This one, it, it I mean, it's kind of like Ricky Hatton coming back. I, I just don't see it now. You know, maybe he was like inspired by Tyson Fury, possibly, but uh, you know, is it for real? Is it legit? I mean, apparently so. You know, he's already in talks with uh, who I think premier boxing champion. So, look. They threw out uh, a couple of names for the uh, the Fabuloso Mustucho <laughs> with that that mustache here, that Fabuloso Mustucho for uh, Mar Marcos Maidana, Manny Pacquiao, right? Current WBA champion Emmanuel Dabertran Pacquiao, but uh, they're talking about can he shed the weight or Keith Thurman? Keith Thurman, right? W Mr. Mr. WBA one time I call him a. Uh, not right now. I don't know what you want to call him. Anytime, sometime, have the, they, not right now, Keith Thurman. But uh, possibility. Now, Earl Spence and Mikey Garcia, they're talking about maybe the winner. You know, whoever uh, comes out on top going to be the IBF champion. You know, possibly Amir Khan. Well, got to get past, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, damn, I got it. Uh, Crawford, right? Got to get. And Jared Hurd? Like, Jared Hurd. I'm like, oh, wait, that didn't make any sense. I was reading the list earlier. You know, Jared Hurd holding two belts right now at 154 pounds because uh, they're they're thinking that maybe, you know, Madonna or Marcos Madonna can't take that weight off, you know, so he might not return at welterweight. So it's not, you know, totally, I don't know, unreasonable, but OK, Kel Brook, you know, maybe. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen because who the hell knows who Mr. Fabuloso Mustucho is in the UK? Nobody. Uh, they brought up Irislandi Lara, so I'm like, eh, you know, I don't know. And then <laughs> what, what, what caught my attention was Margos Maidana versus Gennady Golovkin. Right? I'm like, what? Like, what the hell? Anyway, that was a name. And even Canelo. I'm like, okay, now now we're reaching. You know, and then Jam uh, Jamel Charlo, Jamal Charlo, right? Not Jamel, but Jamal. You know, the middleweight, not the light middleweight, but Jamal, the, the, the middleweight champion. So they're going all the way from like a Manny Pacquiao, all the way up to like a Gennady Golovkin, Canelo, Jared Hurd, Ears, Lonnie Laura, Amir Khan, Manny Pacquiao, Kelbrook, Keith Thurman, Garcia, Charlo, Golovkin, Canelo. It's like, what? Uh, anyway, so, you know, I'll probably leave it at that, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, you know. And uh, I mean, first, I want to see if he can take off the weight. And is he even serious? I want to see like some training camp footage. I want to see the weight falling off, you know, get rid of the Fabuloso Mustucho, you know, that kind of thing. Looking like uh, Pablo Escobar or like some adult film star or some shit, you know, he needs to get rid of that stuff. <laughs> like a caterpillar on his lip. I don't like it. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Now, Keith Thurman signed the damn contract. He's all over YouTube. Any reporter, any and every reporter out there who will listen, sign the contract, sign the contract, sign the contract, you know, talking about Manny Pacquiao. You know, I made a video, and look, right now, I think my video has like 70,000 views. I made a video talking, you know, Keith Thurman, you know, talking trash about Manny Pacquiao, and uh, so there's a, there's a lot of uh, interest in that matchup, and, and me personally, I think it's a damn good matchup you know, Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman, but, you know, he's chasing that money, but, yeah, he, he like you said, sign the contract, you know, um, you can go to YouTube right now, just, just type in Thurman Pacquiao, and, you know, him and all his little, you know, I don't know, his crones, his little yes men are running around talking about sign the contract, so we'll see what happens with that. Now, another thing I want to talk about is, uh, here, let me get to a different picture, there we go, I want to talk about uh, Lomachenko, right, now, Lomachenko, Anthony Crowler. I'm going to read a little bit here uh, and tell you guys what's going on with Loma. Of course, you know, Unified Champ, WBA, w, WBO, I believe, uh, lightweight champion. Uh, due to take, it says here, it was due to take on IBF champion uh, Richard Comey. Next, uh, that was going to be his next fight, right? But uh, he basically had an injury to his left hand. Now we got Crowler, okay? says here, who is yet to return to world title levels since suffering uh, 
uh, losses against uh, Linares, the WWE's mandatory challenger after defeating Jordan in November. Okay, you're talking about they did a purse bid, and this is probably who Loma is going to fight, you know, now that he can't fight Comey, okay, most likely. And, uh, you know, he's talking about how he thinks Loma is beatable. You know, they, they see the kinks in the armor, the chinks in the armor, kinks in the armor, whatever, and they think they can beat Lomachenko, okay, so, and they go on to talk about, you know, what he lost to Salido, so we think we can beat him, I'm like, what, like, what kind of logic is that, first of all, Salido cheated his ass off, okay, we all know what happened in that fight, you know, he cheated, and, uh, you know, he came in really heavy, I, th I believe he missed weight, and, I, you know, look, I don't, Loma wasn't ready for that, you know, he wasn't ready for that dirty fighting, the headbutts, low blows, the all, you know, the coming in overweight and, um, you know, ended up losing, unfortunately. But he says right here, but like every other fighter, we'll watch as many fights as possible. We're, we're lucky with Lomachenko. Uh, there's so much footage on him. He does a lot of things very well, but we think we can do well to unsettle him and cause a huge upset. Uh, after suffering a defeat to Orlando Salino when attempting to win a world title in just his second fight, two-time Olympic gold medalist and world champion Lomachenko, uh, has cemented himself as one of the boxing's best pound for pound. So I'm like, huh, you know, I don't know. And like I said, he says, you know, we can beat him. Uh, you know, we have a game plan. Kind of, I guess, kind of like Spence is talking about, to, uh, you know, Mikey Garcia. Which again, I think that's the biggest mismatch of 2019. I mean, it's it, it just is. And I've made videos about it. I've talked about it. But look, let's look at his record real quick, and then we're going to get into uh, Anthony Joshua. Okay, 34, 6, and 3. Okay, we're talking about Anthony Crowley here. It's like, okay, talking talk all that smack. Okay, beat uh, Jordan Ramirez, Burns. Now, lost to Linares twice in 2017, 2016. And he's got one, two, three. How many draws? He's got three draws and six losses. Like, why is he even fight? Like, why? You know, why are they even making this? And I get it. You know, I get it. You know, uh, his original opponent had to pull out injured left hand. Okay, I got it. But really, Anthony, really? Like, seriously? I don't know. I, I mean, look, these mismatches, and we're about to get into it, and we're going to talk about Anthony Joshua. And look, I don't care. Look, shout out to the UK. But damn, you got to get your boy in line. You got to get your boy in line. I mean, this dude, look, look like this, this, this ad here, or this ad, this meme here says he's told so many lies, okay, and he's, he's tried to bullshit so many people, tried to bullshit so many people, he can't keep up with his own lies, people, you know, you ever had that friend that just lies so much they can't keep up with their own bullshit, that's Anthony Joshua, okay, and his sidekick, Eddie Hearn, like, I mean, I, that's just like a, I mean, <sighs> Look, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to get into it. But uh, by the way, Loma 12 and 1, Pedraza, Linares, Rigandal, Moraga, Nomas Lomachenko, Jason Sosa, Nicholas Walters, uh, Martinez. Okay. All right. Bad mofo. Gary Russell, one of my favorite fighters. Actually, Gary's Russell, uh, Gary Russell's little brother just fought on Showtime last weekend. Hell of a fight. Hell of a fight. Okay, now let's get into Anthony Joshua. Let's read it here. For first, first, read the meme. I'm not going to America to fight Wilder. I'm the A side, the B side, and you should come to the A side. Okay, huh? Okay, spoken like a diva. I'm not interested in Fury. He has no belt, just a made-up title. Okay, fast forward just a little bit. My next fight against the seaside fighter, and I'm going to him, and he has no belt. So, you know, he wants to bring fights to the UK. Bring them to, to, to London, to the O2 Arena. Bring bring the fight to London, to the O2 Arena, you know, as he talks like this. And, you know, and then, uh, you know, uh, I'm bringing the fights to the, fan, the UK fans. Again, shout, I love you. Look, you're my brothers, my sisters, I love you, but damn. You know, y'all might need to denounce this dude because uh, this is despicable. Right here. American Baby Miller, or Big Baby Miller, are said to have agreed to terms for a fight on June 1st in New York. Okay? In New York, according <coughs> to uh, a bunch of people, right? Now, Joshua's purse for the fight is expected to be... 24 million or 24.83 $25 million that's all it says here is a lot of money for what amounts to be a glorified mismatch for Joshua now big baby Miller okay said to be uh, getting uh, about I think like 7 million somewhere in there okay about seven about a cool 7 mil okay now 
uh, getting that kind of money to fight Joshua sounds absurd. Says Miller doesn't have a fan base in the U.S. Joshua's management must really want Miller bad to pay him that kind of money. The 315-pound Miller came to fame and after beating a 42-year-old uh, Tomas uh, Adam Adamak or Adamek, whatever the hell his name is. Okay, last October by a second round to KO. Miller hasn't had or beaten anyone good before. Uh, he fought former world, former world title challenger Duhapis last April and had to labor badly to beat him. Miller was like an old car with 300,000 miles trying to make it up a damn hill, okay? And he did. I thought, look, I thought that poor man was going to have a heart attack in that ring. I, I mean, I was like medically worried. I was like, uh, like, like worried for this dude. Like when, you know, and he's fighting Duhapis. Okay. Duhapis. Okay. Coming off a win, you know, a glorified win against a 42 year old grandfather. Right. And do, do straight up a grandfather, by the way, look it up. You know, look, I tell you guys facts on my channel, you know, beat granddad and, and then had trouble against Duhapis. So, you know, uh, but why, why are we getting this fight? So, says here, they're saying that the Joshua Miller fight will be finalized within 48 hours. However, you have to take that with the grain of sand. Things are never what they seem to be when it comes to Joshua. I mean, he reportedly turned down a $50 million offer to fight the WBC heavyweight bronze bomber Deontay Wilder recently. Okay, what does that tell you? So instead of Joshua getting $50 million to fight Deontay Wilder, he's getting half of that to fight Big Baby Miller. So, you know. I mean, you know, what, what's, what's Joshua have now? I, uh, IB, what is he, IBF, WBA, WO? He's got three titles, I believe, the WBA, O, and the IBF, okay? But seriously, what the hell is this fight? I mean, this is, I mean, you know, you, you got, you got uh, Lomachenko, and look, I'm not just ragging on Anthony Joshua. You got Lomachenko and Corolla, like a Toyota Corolla, what the hell ever his name is. Don't know, don't care. You know, with 27 losses, who cares, right? You know, you got Mikey Garcia, which, by the way, I'm going to be there as press. That's right, P-R-E-S-S-S, -S -S, press, covering that fight. <laughs> March, I think, 16th, I don't know. I think it's like mid-March, but I will be there, okay, uh, covering that fight. I'm also covering Jacobs Canelo, just so you guys know, as media, since I'm not a real reporter, you know, some asshole was up in the comment section today talking about, uh, you're not even a real reporter, dude. Like, uh, he was saying something about how, because I made a video and I was in the back. I was in the back because I was getting video footage for my YouTube channel, dude. You know, as you're sitting on your mama's couch, you know, talking shit on YouTube, whatever. You know, I'm the one covering fights. But anyway, so what do you guys think about this situation here, you know, with Anthony Joshua? I mean, seriously. And look... I like Anthony Joshua. I do. You know, seems like a cool dude, you know, kind of a bodybuilder, but whatever. I mean, I don't like, look, that, I think if he would drop a little bit of weight, I think he'd be much better. But, you know, who am I to criticize, right? Who, hell of a fight with Klitschko. Hell of a fight with Klitschko, right? You know, so I don't know. I mean, I know Deontay Wilder. Could it be? Now, could it be? Okay, let's extend an olive branch here. Could it be? You know, here, here's the back door. Here's the way out, AJ. Let me help you out here, buddy, is what you tell people. You're taking on Big Baby Miller, which is a dumb fight for Baby Miller. I mean, sure, he's getting the money, you know, sure, but why? You know, I mean, he needs to remain undefeated, work his way up the ladder, get, you know, so I, whatever. But anyway, that's my, he could say, hey, you know what? I'm saving my body, you know, for the big fight. You know, yeah, it's kind of a keep busy thing here. You know, I'm going to come introduce myself properly to the American fans on American soil. God bless the U.S. of A. That's right. I am very patriotic. Uh, actually, I want to move to Canada or Canada, but uh, that, that's beside the point. That's another video. But my point is, could be, you know, just coming here to kind of fill it out, you know, see how the judges are going to react, you know, get to know people and, uh, you know, basically save himself for the big fight, the true challenge against Tyson Fury or the winner of Fury Wilder or who knows. I mean, he might even take on the look at this point. I think Anthony Joshua will take on whoever he thinks he can beat, win, lose or draw out of Anthony, out of uh, Tyson Fury and a Deontay Wilder. So it doesn't have to be the winner. You know, I think he'll take on whoever he thinks he can beat. So that's my opinion. You know, so uh, I don't know.
Keith, like I said, Keith Thurman yelling for a contract. You know, careful what you wish for. Marcos Maidana coming back to fight Gennady Golovkin or who the hell ever. Sergey Kovalev, we don't know. Just ridiculous. And you got mismatches left and right. You got Santa Cruz, Riviera coming up. I'm excited about that fight. So uh, that's about all I got, people. I'll leave it at that. What do you think? Leave it in the comment section below.